Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today they released the four new um, ESPN Ultimate Team cards, all which are very good and all that I would want, uh, so definitely a good week, but some of you were asking me uh, what uniforms I was using in the uh, final clip, and I believe it is this. It's the Wounded Warrior Hawaii jerseys. They're, pl they're pretty nasty. I like them a lot. I've been running Hawaii. Uh, people have been asking me why I run Hawaii. Uh, my dad lived in Hawaii for some time, and uh, it's just one of those teams that he really likes just because he lived there. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, put on the Hawaii uniforms because I like Hawaii too. Uh, so I thought I'd put them on. Uh, let's go look at these cards. I do have two of them, so I'll be able to show you guys more in-depth those guys. Uh, but one of the guys that came out that I do actually really want to get is Joey Galloway. Uh, we still don't have that A.J. Hawk yet, but... Let's see here. Joey Galloway is twenty nine thousand. There he is. Pretty. It's a pretty boss picture right there. Uh, pretty good stats. Nothing terrible on the back of his card. His awareness is a little low, but uh, all in all, the back of his card makes him look very good. Uh, I don't know really his depth chart stats, so I can't really comment too much about him. But hopefully he's he's as good. I'm gonna get him when he drops under twenty k probably. Uh, give him a nice test out. Here's another guy, uh, Teddy Lehman. Uh, up for 89k. There, I don't know why there isn't any Peter Bullwares up right now, but uh, Teddy Lehman, 96 left outside linebacker. I thought about buying him for 90, but that's just a little too much. I don't need him that bad. Um, all decent stats. If you care, compare him to the Bullwear, uh, there's not a whole lot of difference. Up one in speed, down four in agility, up one in awareness, same tackle, down one in block shed, um, down four three and strength and up one and play rack and I don't know the depth chart stats for him so I can't really comment um, but let's get into the two that I actually have uh, probably one that I was most happy to see come out was uh, Tyrone Wheatley uh, Michigan running back uh, he was just a boss uh, definitely happy to get him I'm definitely gonna have to try him out see how good he is and whatnot uh, his depth chart stats there's nothing really too impressive here uh, he's got 92 acceleration, uh, 92 break tackle, 91 stiff arm, that's nice. Uh, he's got decent catching, not anything amazing. Um, but all in all, a good player, and I really am happy to have a Michigan running back. Uh, I can pretty much make a decently good Michigan team. Uh, missing, I'll have a couple holes here and there, but I have been saving up all my Michigan players, so I could make one potentially. Um, and then the final card that came out, probably the biggest one, Deion Sanders. I paid 470000 for mine, uh, kind of pricey, but um, I'm sitting perfectly fine with coins. Um, I was able to uh, get him no problems. Uh, he's got, I haven't even looked at his depth charts yet. He's got 99 acceleration, amazing, uh, with 97 speed. So he accelerates one faster than Charles Woodson, uh, so that's, that's big. Uh, Charles Woodson's got better break tackle, though, ball carrier vision. Spin move, got good spin move, got a good juke move. Good catching, um, decent catch and traffic and whatnot, 97 jumping, 81 tackle, which is better than Charles Woodson, so that's nice. Um, pursuit, 98. Play rec, 85. That's a little low, but I'm okay with that. 98 man, 94 zone, 94 press. Um, nothing else here really matters. 99 return. He's got the same stamina and injury, well, two better injury than Charles Woodson, but I really haven't had problems. Uh, so those are the new cards. Happy about all of them. They're all really good. I hope tomorrow they release a new uh, uh, Heisman hopeful card. Hopefully Troy Smith. I'd really like to see a Troy Smith card come out for the Buckeyes fans and also for me. I really want to play with the Troy Smith. So I got three cards up on my auction. Um, D'Angelo Hall and uh, Pac-Man Jones big ups to uh, Radioactive Waste for hooking me up with some cards earlier today. Super cheap. Um, he was just throwing stuff up. Uh, for people in the party to snipe, kind of snipe, uh, because we knew it was coming, it's not really a snipe, pretty much got them all, so big ups to him, opened up about two or three hundred K uh, worth of packs, pulled RG3, um, and a bunch of other guys that I already sold, also got McFadden here, but hopefully RG3 sells, uh, they'd get my coins, um, if all these sold, I think he'd get my coins over 400,000, so that'd be really nice. Um, then I'd be able to, you know, sit and be able to get some of those cards. I still need the Timmy Teepster, um, as Murphman would like to say, but I still need him. He's the only one I'll have left. But I'm guessing the one, a new one, will come out this weekend, so I'll have another one I'll have to get. 
Uh, but he's still decently expensive. I don't want to pay 139 for him. It's a little too expensive for me. I'd prefer to get him for around 100k. Uh, but if push comes to shove, I'll buy him out for 125. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. This video should go up tomorrow morning uh, early. Uh, so for some of you guys, you may still be awake. Uh, for those on the Pacific Coast or those late nighters on the East Coast, it'll be up then. Um, if you liked the video, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all later. Peace out, guys.